Today's word of the day, Stellar Nursery, was just added to our dictionary. So today we've asked our friend Rich Myers at NASA to help explain the word. So my name is Rich Myers. Uh, I've worked on the James Webb Space Telescope, um, building it, testing it, preparing it for launch, launching it, and then now the operation of the telescope. Stellar Nursery is, there's a molecular cloud, and in that molecular cloud, which is also called sometimes called a nebula, there can be areas where there's star formation, and uh, the Stellar Nursery is that area of star formation where the stars are forming out of the gases that are collapsing. The Tarantula Nebula, which is the image that you're highlighting mm -hmm. now, there's an area right in the middle of the photo where there's a bright blue area with lots of dots, uh, new stars that are forming, and they're starting to emit um, a ton of radiation. And then if you look on the outside of that photo, there's like rust-like colors, and that's that's other parts of the molecular cloud. Orion Nebula was discovered in the 1700s. The very first images of um, stellar nurseries were probably done by ground telescopes years ago. So Hubble Space Telescope, uh, the Spitzer Space Telescope, James Webb Space Telescope has kind of uh, really enhanced that capabilities. Is this, mm -hmm. It was specifically designed to do these kind of things. So it, it provides much greater resolution and much better spectroscopy, which is the ability to see the composition of those gas clouds to see how many generations of stars have occurred and what the composition of them are. Well, really a nebula, I, I think, is more of the gas cloud. It could be molecular mm -hmm. gas, which is usually a lot of hydrogen and uh, helium, but it's also got traces of other elements. And the stellar nursery is as, as that gas kind of starts to condense on itself and creates these star forming regions. Stellar nursery is like part of the, the nebula. It took us over 20 years. So um, I think the original concept started in the late 90s, uh, maybe 96, 98. Around 2002 is when uh, things really got moving on building the James Webb Space Telescope. So we launched in 2021 on Christmas Day. So it took almost 20 years and we launched it um, in the space. And then once it's in the space, you communicate it through different uh, ground stations. So our mission control is uh, located in Baltimore, Maryland. And then we communicate from there through Jet Propulsion Laboratory to various antennas around the globe. How do you pronounce the name of the seventh planet? <laughs> I I always said Uranus, but um, I know that's a... Uh... <laughs> I think it's, it's, you're allowed to pronounce it any way you would like. <laughs>